Okay. So you you now you've turned it out inside out. So now you take your remember this part? Hold the two sides together and cut off that fat extra part. It's the side with the logo. The fat extra part, chop, cut that off and save the strips. Go ahead and do that. So fat extra strips. Those fat extra strips that are at the top, cut both sides off and set the, set them aside and save them. So once you've done that, flip it over so that it decide, it's not the logo side, but the other side, and look for those score marks and and try your best to eyeball it and draw a line. Maybe it's easier this way. The third line, about this far in, you can see what mine looks. You can look up here and see, get an idea of the um, proportions. Yeah. At the top, you're going to measure, make sure it's on the folded edge. So just in from that line you just drew, you're going to make a mark at the 5 centimeters. It's perpendicular to the fold, your line, and it's a continuation of that big, long 5 centimeter line. I'm assuming that you guys remember how to do this, but some people, sometimes we miss out on ruler marking skills. And slide it down, and to the, so that's at the 5. And I want to make a mark again five centimeters up from either end. So that's five centimeters. And this is five centimeters. Don't don't write this on here. I'm just writing it so that you can see. So you're making this mark here and this mark here. Okay, at five centimeters each. Five centimeter mark up to the line you just drew. Cut the five centimeter mark up to the line you just drew. Okay. Fold. But do not pop out. Fold. Crease, crease, crease. Unfold. Snip. Hold back, crease, crease, crease. All right, now leave it folded. You will notice that I want it on the side that has the logo on it. Logo side, because this you can see the score lines. So leave it, make sure you crease it. So have it again, logo side up. You can see the crease lines, the score lines. Don't cut anything yet. Now we're measuring again. You're going to put your ruler against that new second crease, the second generation. You're going to make a mark at the one centimeter. And you're going to make a mark at the three centimeter. Find that second mark that's just about a half a centimeter in from the end and you're going to draw a line along there like that okay everybody got their line drawn beautiful okay and when you have your one centimeter line, your three centimeter lines, and your line drawn, then you're going to cut from the one up to the line through both thicknesses here. And then what do you do? Fold, crease, 
increase and really crease this well because this has got a lot of cardstock thickness. Crease, crease, crease. Unfold. Flip it. Fold back and crease. Whoops. Okay. Now you can unpop it. So one thing, can I have everybody's attention real quick? Here's a tip. Well, I'll give you the tip. Unpop it, and then I'll give you the tip. Unpop it. I mean, unfold it and pop it out. Unfold it, pop it out, then press it down to get your keep your pop-ups all poppy. Okay? And you should have something that looks like this. Okay? Yay. Got it? No. Who's saying no? So two tips. Candy tips. And then pop it out when you're done. So can I up here handy tips? Handy tip number one. Can you see the screen? On scissors, the best part to cut is closer to here because you have more leverage. It's stronger. Generally, tends to be sharper. Sometimes we have a tendency. Sometimes we need to cut at the tips for a little detail work. But if possible, you want to cut, especially with it through the thick cardstock, you want to have open up your scissors the whole way and cut them back here. The other thing is when you're drawing lines, 